नमस्ते दिस इज ए वीडियो ऑन संस्कृत पोएट्री एंड द कंप्यूटेशनल मैथमेटिक्स इन्वॉल्व इन दिस दिस इज साईनाथ शानभा चीफ टेक्नोलॉजी ऑफिसर ऑफ शार्दोला ए आई वी वर्क इन द एरिया ऑफ ब्रिंगिंग कंप्यूटर्स एंड संस्कृत टुगेदर सो यू मे यूज दिस वीडियो फॉर लर्निंग ए ब्यूटिफुल संस्कृत पोएम और ए श्लोका यू मे यूज दिस टू कम्पोज यूअर ओन पोएम and this would help in connecting children to their bharatiya culture and one would understand the math behind the shloka or the poem so what this is going to in turn result is it, re- it results in improved brain functions how exactly we will be sharing in the subsequent slides and one would understand the computational mathematics concepts in the sanskrit poem or indian knowledge system and this is one of the subjects uh, that we would be covering in the summer camp for children of course we would be covering the simpler aspects of that so that it's fun for them so as an example in this poem we are going to take a uh, shloka composed by pushpadanta who is a gandharva and uh, what happens is he unknowingly stamps on shiva nirmalya and then he feels sorry and composes shiva mahinna stotram to please bhagwan shiva and this is so melodious and to understand why is it so famous and why is it so melodious we will understand it through maths and what is the maths behind his composition <coughs> so the song goes something like this असीतगिरी समं स्यात् कज्जलं सिंधु पात्रे सुरवर सुरतरुवर शाखा लेखनी पत्र मुर्वी लिखति यदि गृहीत्वा शारदा सर्वकालं तदि तव गुणा ईश पार नयाति सो टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस कंपोजिशन एंड द मैथमेटिक्स बिहाइंड इट वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड ए कंसेप्ट कॉल्ड गणास विच इज ए कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ थ्री शब्दास और सिलेबल्स कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ लघु लघु इज अ वर्ड विच टेक्स लेस टाइम टू स्पीक एंड गुरु इज अ वर्ड विच टेक्स मोर टाइम टू स्पीक For example, if we take the word "suratarvara shaka," in which we are just taking "suratarvara," we will see that each of these shabdas is taking less time to come speak. So we would name it as zero 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 zero. Now contrast that to another line in the same composition, but in a different shloka. It says. त्रयी सांख्यम योग सो यू वुड सी दैट ईच ऑफ दिस वर्ड टेक्स लॉन्गर टाइम टू कंपोज एक्सेप्ट फॉर द फर्स्ट वर्ड त्रयी सो यी इज द बिगर यी सा द बिगर आ की मात्रा क्यम सो दैर इज अम हियर यो ओ की मात्रा एंड अह सो ऑल ऑफ दिस इज गोइंग टू हैव ए लॉन्गर टाइम ड्यूरेशन टू स्पीक <clears throat> so if we take a look at all these ganas we will have a total of uh, eight values so starting with the first one which is 000 which is lagu 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 and such a word is called nagana and the definition of naguna nagana is tri laghuscha nakarah means three lagus and in this poem we are going we are going to be interested in only three ganas the one is yagana which is laghu guru guru so the first word takes less time the subsequent words takes more time and then we are interested in magana where each of these words takes more time guru 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 and what we are going to do is we are going to have this song uh, put in a row and column for example we will say asita giri samam syat kajjalam sindhu patre surataruvar shakha lekhani patra murvi 
so similarly we are going to keep the third and fourth line and now what we want to do is we will take a look at the first column and see how much time it takes the second column and see how much time it takes third column how much time it takes and we are going to complete this complete lines so specifically as an example if we take the first line we have a su si the etc which takes less time and we contrast that with mum sha he na which takes more time and similarly if we keep on filling these columns you can do it yourself you will see that we are going to get this sequence of 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 and 0 1 1 and what we would do is we will divide that into ganas that means a collection of three numbers like this like this third number fourth number and fifth number now for each of these three digits this forms a binary number so what we do is we multiply the first bit by 4 add it to the second bit multiplied by 2 third bit multiplied by 1 and this forms a 0 and same as this this also is a 0 and here what happens is we multiply 1 by 4 1 by 2 and 1 by 1 so this becomes 4 plus 2 plus 1 which forms 7 similarly here the 4 4 into 0 forms 0 and this 2 plus 1 forms 3 so what is we are going to do is see is the binary encoding of this number the binary mathematics gives us a value of 00733 and this combination 00733 is called malini chanda and what is malini chanda malini chanda is a chand which gives a concept an aesthetic element of a lady who is wearing a flower so the question is how are we going to have this knowledge representation like how do we communicate to our next generation that okay i am going to compose a music and that music has so and so mathematical format and it has to be uh, kept given in such a specific way it has to be uh, sounded in such a specific way that we have a pause after the eighth and the seventh syllable and the idea is to compose the aesthetic element of beauty and then this comes from the tradition of hindus and there are some fundamental concepts of hindu tradition in this knowledge representation now all of this if i want to compose in a single compressed format the answer for that is nanamayaya yuteyam malini bhogi lokai is going to be the result of that so specifically specifically if i am going to see it is nanamaya yuteyam malini bhogi lokai now how exactly this this particular answer is going to cover all these five points we will see this now nana maya yuteyam so nana gana as we see is having 000 and 000 and then we have ma which stands for 111 ya ya which stands for 011 yuteyam represents containing malini malini means a lady with flower garland and that is the aesthetic feeling that we need and the pause that we need to give while we recite this poem is on the eighth shabda eighth syllable now bhogi refers to eight now why it is eight the bhogi one of the meaning of bhogi is the nagas or the serpents and the kashyapa the story is that the kashyapa rishi with kadru uh, his wife kadru had eight nagas as children one of the nagas is the naga on which uh, bhagavan vishnu sleeps so with this story the children are able to connect bhogi with eight number and then there is lokai which is seven which represents seven and as per the shastras the puranas we have seven uh, swargas or seven lokas 
विच इज भू भुव स्व जन मह तप सत्यम एंड वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू डू इज हाउ इज दिस नॉलेज रिप्रेजेंटेशन एंड हाउ इज दिस मैथमेटिक्स रेलेवेंट टू द मॉडर्न कंप्यूटेशनल मैथमेटिक्स मैथमेटिक्स यूज इन कंप्यूटर्स स्पेसिफिकली इन द एरिया ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन थियरी नाउ द होल आइडिया ऑफ दिस इंफॉर्मेशन थियरी ऑफ कंप्यूटेशनल मैथमेटिक्स इज अबाउट कंप्रेसिंग एनी डेटा लाइक टेक्स्ट और वीडियो दैट वी वॉच इन द कंप्यूटर इन ए फॉर्मेट दैट टेक्स लेस स्पेस इन क्लाउड सर्वर और द गूगल ड्राइव सो वेन वी आर ऑब्जर्विंग ए वीडियो द डेटा वुड कम फ्रॉम द गूगल द ड्राइव और द सर्वर एंड देर इज ह्यूज अमाउंट ऑफ डेटा एंड इट हैज टू बी पुट इन फॉर्मेट सच दैट इट टेक्स लेस स्पेस नाउ कॉन्ट्रास्ट दैट टू अवर नॉलेज रिप्रेजेंटेशन सिस्टम द गुरु शिष्य परंपरा द नॉलेज नीड्स टू बी ट्रांसफर्ड फ्रॉम गुरु टू शिष्य from one guru to multiple shishyas now we have to have a compressed knowledge in a format that takes less space in the brain or smriti of both the teacher as well as students so the same knowledge that we digitally store in the server for knowledge or entertainment purpose here too we have this shlokas for knowledge and entertainment purpose but here the data remains in the brain or the smriti memory of the uh, collective uh, people citizens of a particular culture now as an example uh, previously in uh, early uh, late 1990s uh, early 2000 we had this cd where uh, we had around we it, 10 to 12 songs would come on the complete cd and then there was an mp3 format that came up and with this mp3 format we were able to store around hundreds of songs in the same uh, cd so this is called a format and later mp4 format for video came up so that we are able to store uh, multiple movies in one cd now in the case of data we have this knowledge for example uh, knowledge of medicine there is a book called ashtanga hridaya and the idea is that the complete medical knowledge is represented in uh, anushtup chanda which can be recited as a poem so that is the idea here uh, with respect to uh, converting the data in a uh, mathematical format so that it can be sung as a song now the other aspect of the data is that the format of video should be in such a such a way that the transfer time from server to customers mobile sd card is less so that streaming is possible over less bandwidth and in our case the knowledge should be transferred from guru to shishya in a uh, very less time so more knowledge needs to be transferred in less time to the child's memory and in the case of computers more data should be transferred from server to the uh, client side client is the cell phone now how do we do that in the case of uh, computers we what we do is we take this binary sequence of 01 a huge large sequence of 01 we divide it into small small packets and then these packets are uh, streamed and in the case of our knowledge system what we do is we divide the knowledge into sutras sutras means each of the knowledge we are dividing into individual units and each unit is connected to the previous unit and the subsequent unit now in the case of both uh, the western and the eastern uh, knowledge system uh, the idea is that the mind would keep the abstract data and when it ponders over the abstract data it should be able to convert it from abstract to application for example if i am learning physics or any engineering subject it would contain a textbook covering lakhs of lines with some important equations 
and one would remember these equations always at the back of the mind and on these equations once when one ponders over he is able to take it to application level in the case of a uh, engineering or medicine uh, in the indian knowledge system we have a sutras that uh, is remembered and the moment there is a specific problem the sutras comes up in the mind and one is able to give the solution now in the case of this shloka where we are trying to take a look at the mathematics we have a definition for this kind of uh, 00733 now note that this is a number as individual we can remember 00733 is a chanda but when it comes to hundreds of chandas hundreds of melodies it is difficult to remember all of this so the way to define this and it also has to define that there is the pause after eighth line and seventh line so probably one needs to remember 00733 and 87 which is difficult when there are hundreds of numbers so the way to define that is nanamayaya yuteyam malini bhogi lokai so we see that this particular combination defines the uh, specific mathematical combination and it says that we need to have a pause after the eighth syllable now for example when we say asita giri samam syat so we see that 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and after the 8 we give a pause and then we say kajjalam sindhu patre which is basically a pause of after 7 so these are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so this definition nana maya yajute yam malini bhogi lokai refers to the number 00733 and 87 and the genius of this definition is that this definition applies to this own definition so for example if i say na na ma ya ya u all of these are 000 and 000 that means this definition itself has the mathematical value of 00733 so then it says teyam malini bhogi lokai so this three words forms seven and this forms three and this forms three so thus the definition itself is applied to this definition making it easy to remember now in this to summarize we have seen that there is a way of composing melodious poem mathematically if you put it in 00733 format and the there should be a pause after the 8th and 7th syllable and such a music if you compose it in this way it will give a uh, effect of malini that malini aesthetic element and the way we have defined this it will bring a tradition traditional knowledge where we have gandharva saraswati shiva nirmalyam etc and then we also have the fundamental concepts covering kashyapa kadru nagas the lokas etc and thus through this video we can see that it is possible to learn a beautiful sanskrit poem in very less time and when we learn that it also gives a method to compose one's own poem as long as the poem is in indian language because all the indian languages kannada malayalam telugu marathi etc they have the same a a e e same words and thus uh, when we go through this the children get connected to their bharatiya culture and they understand the mathematics behind this shloka and poem and also when one learns such poems it has it improves the brain functionalities when sanskrit alphabets are repeated in a melodious way so what that causes is it causes the nerve impulses to relax and when nerve impulses relax the mind automatically goes into the relaxed alpha state and that results in a improved brain functionality and this is the basically the computational mathematics involved in the indian poetry 
एंड दिस इज जस्ट वन ऑफ द संस्कृत पॉयम असिता गिरी समम सियात एंड सेवरल सच संस्कृत पोएट्री एंड द रिलेटेड मैथमेटिक्स वुड बी कवर्ड एंड इट विल बी कवर्ड इन अवर ऑनलाइन समर कैम्प एंड दिस इज स्पेसिफिकली फॉर किड्स ऑफ सेवन टू फोर्टीन ईयर्स एंड इट इज ए टू वीक ऑनलाइन समर कैम्प स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम मार्च टू मे एंड वॉट वी वुड बी कवरिंग इज Uh, one part is we connect the child to the beauty of night sky by introducing them to the nakshatras and rashis nakshatras are basically the asterisms or in simpler words we can call stars and rashis are the constellations so we would help them identify the stars that they would see in the night sky and we have come up with an innovative sanskrit coding platform and there we make the child comfortable with computing where we give simple commands to the computer and in a uh, well defined uh, grammatical way in sanskrit and the computer would generate some uh, images uh, for the kid then we enhance the child's interest in mathematics naturally through poetry and music as we shown in this particular video and we connect kids to traditions and festivals when we show them the scientific aspects in the hindu or the indian calendar and uh, we also cover the panchatantra stories which brings out the street smartness street smartness in the kids which is very important nowadays so with that uh, this is specifically for kids 6 to 14 years and we have it at uh, the time 9 am to 12:40 so we have 9 to 9:40 and then 20 minutes break then 10 to 10:40 again uh, 20 minutes break 11 to 11:40 20 minutes break and then 12 to 12:40 so duration is 10 days monday to friday saturday sunday is we are not going to conduct the class but they are they can feel free to contact any time and then the batches start from 6 to 17th march and 20 to 31st march so in the month of march april and may we divide the first two weeks and the subsequent two weeks so this is a fun filled program for kids to connect to our ancient uh, knowledge relevant in computational and scientific areas and uh, the charge for this uh, two weeks course is on the 3000 rupees the in case you have any questions you can whatsapp me on the number shown here you may Uh, scan this qr code for payment to the uh, official account uh, to know more you can look at uh, shardula-ai.com and uh, hope to see you soon and i hope that this video has been helpful to you namaste